The NBA trade deadline is just in a few days, and I want to know, do you guys think the Lakers are going to make a trade? Let me know down in the comments. If you do, type Y. If not, type N down below. But let's get into today's video because we have to break down all of the latest trade rumors. There's a lot to talk about starting right now. <laughs> Welcome to Lakers Report by Chat Sports, all things Lakers. I'm your host, Hannah Kulik, aka Laker Hand, and we have to break down all of the latest trade rumors regarding our purple and gold because the trade deadline is just in a few days, Thursday, February 6th. So let's just get right into it. Now, according to ESPN's Zach Lowe, the Lakers are looking to trade Kyle Kuzma for potentially a ball handler. As we all know, another ball handler is something that the Lakers could desperately need, especially coming off the bench and helping them run the offense. But Zach Lowe is also reporting that the Lakers are also looking to acquire potentially a guy who makes around $12 million to use to potentially trade to the Memphis Grizzlies in order to trade for Andre Iguodala. As we all know, the Memphis Grizzlies would prefer to trade Iggy. They don't really want to buy him out, but the Lakers don't have too many assets that Memphis would be interested in. So they are hoping that they will be able to acquire a guy who has about a $12 million salary to potentially trade to Memphis that would maybe entice them to allow them to finally just get Iguodala and make him a Los Angeles Laker. You guys, I cannot wait for this trade deadline to be over so that Iggy can just hopefully be a Laker, but regardless, we can just move on from all of these Iguodala trade rumors. I am so curious to see where he is going to end up. But Kyle Kuzma, definitely in the hot seat for the Lakers regarding all trade talks. We're going to be talking a lot about him and some other potential trades that the Lakers have been looking to make with him. But I am curious, do you guys think that Kyle Kuzma is going to be a Laker by the end of the trade deadline? If you do, then all you have to do is just like this video. If you think yes, he is going to still be a Laker by the after the trade deadline. But if not, then comment no down below. Now, Kuz is also involved in another trade rumor regarding Sacramento Kings. But before we get into breaking that all down and kind of updating you on that situation, I want to make sure that you guys hit that subscribe button down below. If you have not yet joined this Lakers Report family, please do so and help us get to 12,000 subscribers by the end of this week. We are so close. We only need a little bit over 100. So please do me a favor. If you are not yet subscribed, click that subscribe button down below. I tell you, you will not regret it. We are posting some awesome content here almost every day. So definitely a ton of videos and a lot of things to make sure that you keep up with all things purple and gold. But moving on and talking about Kyle Kuzma. Now, it is also being reported that the Sacramento Kings have reportedly tried to get Kyle Kuzma by offering the Lakers Nemanja Belgica and a draft pick for Kuz. But the Lakers turned that down because they have their eyes on none other than Bob. Bogdanovich. The Lakers would love to acquire Sacramento Kings guard Bogdanovich. He's kind of been regards and talks with reportedly wanting to come to the Lakers and Lakers being sought after him the last few months. And he's having a career year, you guys, in terms of scoring. He is averaging 14.4 points per game, a little bit over three assists, a little over three rebounds. And he's also shooting 37% from three. So he's having a career year in terms of averaging points and scoring wise. So he could definitely help the Lakers in a lot in terms of their offense, which is something that the Lakers could really use another high scoring offensive minded guard. So Lakers have their sets, their eyes set on Bogdanovich, but of course, so do the Charlotte Hornets. They are the other team who is reportedly really interested in trying to acquire him as well. So who knows how that is going to turn out, but still definitely something to keep our kind of ears open and our eyes open to see how that plays out because Bogdanovich is definitely one that the trade rooms are really heating up regarding him reportedly being traded to the Los Angeles Lakers, which would involve Kyle Kuz being a Sacramento King. Now, before I move on, because I have a little bit of a Darren Collison update for you guys, I want to let you guys in on a very exciting offer that one of our sponsors, BetDSI, is offering us Laker fans. So if you guys like to bet on your favorite sports teams, you want to bet on our Los Angeles Lakers, then you are in luck because BetDSI is giving you guys an awesome promo code, Lakers120, to get 120% deposit bonus on betting for the Los Angeles Lakers. So every time they win, you get money. So use this great opportunity to win some money tonight. The Lakers played the San Antonio Spurs. The Lakers have the 12-point favorite to win that game. So 
Go ahead, bet on our Lakers tonight, and you will win some money. But do it all season long. This is a great opportunity, so definitely make sure to check it out. Again, all you have to do is go to chatsports.com slash bet. Enter the promo code LAKERS120 to win. Now an update for all of my Darren Collison fans. I, for one, am definitely a big fan, hoping he comes to the Lakers. A little bit of good news. AJ Mojanowski reported that Darren Collison is most likely going to make his decision whether or not he's going to return to the NBA by the All-Star break. And he is reportedly only going to be staying in Los Angeles. So he's either going to play for the Lakers or the Clippers. And obviously the Lakers kind of got a little bit of sidetracked after last week uh, with Kobe Bryant's sudden passing. But reportedly they are now going full speed ahead in terms of trying to acquire Darren Collison. And for good reason, he would be a perfect addition to this team. He would be that backup playmaker that the Lakers desperately need. Also that kind of consistent three-point shooter that he has really been throughout his entire career, shooting 39% on his career from three. So Darren Collison would be a perfect, perfect fit. So, so far Adrian Wojnarowski has made it clear that Darren Collison would like to make a return to the NBA and he does only want to play in Los Angeles. So either the Clippers or the Lakers are the two teams that he is going to decide between. So we also have to keep his, our fingers crossed that he decides to go with the purple and gold. But you guys, Darren Collison very well may be a Laker in the next few days or week. It's going to be very exciting to see. Definitely have to kind of keep our eyes open for that one. Keep our fingers crossed he decides to come and join the Los Angeles Lakers because he would be a perfect fit. Now moving on and talking about some more trade rumors that we get to. I want to remind you guys to follow me on my social media handles. My Instagram is at Hannah Rose Kulik and my Twitter is at Hannah underscore Kulik. If you want to keep up with all things purple and gold or you just want to keep up with some fitness things, if you know me, you know I love to post workout videos and tips and tricks on my social media handles as well. So definitely make sure to give me a follow on there. But let's talk a little bit about Robert Covington because unfortunately, it looks like the Lakers are actually out of the whole Robert Covington Covington trade race. It is being reported that the Minnesota Timberwolves now would like two first round picks for Robert Covington. Obviously that's not something that the Lakers can offer. So Mark Stein is reporting that it looks like Philadelphia 76ers and the Houston Rockets are the top teams that are reportedly most likely going to be the landing spot for Covington. But also he's mentioning that the Clippers could also be in the mix there. But most likely going to be the 76ers and the Houston Rockets or the Houston Rockets of course who end up landing Covington. Which is fine. You know obviously Robert Covington's having a great season but I think in terms of what the Lakers need I think he isn't the most ideal fit for this team so I'm fine with the Lakers maybe missing out on this chance to trade for Robert Covington again there's nothing we can do here though you guys this is completely out of our control because we do not have those two first round draft picks that the Lakers would want now it has obviously been a little over a week since the very sudden and tragic passing of Kobe Bryant and I just want to continue to remember his legacy so I would love you guys to comment down below what is your favorite Kobe Bryant moment let me know down in the comments below because I really do love coming kind of reminiscing and hearing what you guys have to say obviously he provided us with so many amazing memories so please comment down below and let me know what your favorite Kobe Bryant memory is now to end this video I do want to talk about how this trade rumors and all this trade talk is affecting this team because reportedly it really isn't Frank Vogel says he is not concerned about how the team has really been dealing with these trade rumors and that they aren't really focused on that right now. He says, you know, he doesn't have any control over what Rob Palenka is thinking, what Rob Palenka is doing, but so far right now there is nothing that he is really concerned about and he doesn't know if the Lakers are going to make a move, but if there is obviously the opportunity for them to do so and to improve our roster, he is expecting them to do so. LeBron James also shared similar sentiments about this, just saying he doesn't know what Rob Palenka is thinking or doing. I can't really comment on it, but so far right now, you know, obviously trade talks can be pretty hard on players, especially guys like Kyle Kuzma, who are still young and we're hoping to have a big role with this team, but it really hasn't turned out so. So definitely could have an impact on players, but so far I think the Lakers are really doing a great job of just trying to stay the course and keep focus and just focus on playing basketball and letting whatever happens, happens. Lakers have been doing a very good job this season, really just keeping a lot of these trade rumors as quiet as possible. Of course, they are still gonna be leaks and stuff like that, but in terms of what we had in the past, I really do think they've been doing a very good job of kind of keeping the leaks and the reports to a minimum as best they can. So that is going to be it for today's video. Before we leave here today, I do want to remind you guys to go use one of our sponsors, Bet DSI, and bet on this Lakers versus Spurs game tonight, 7 p.m. Again, the Lakers have a 12-point lead advantage, so you can bet 
over under 229 points. And if you win, you win some money. So it's a great opportunity. Again, just go to chatsports.com slash bet. Enter the promo code Lakers120 and you'll get 120% deposit bonus to go and play. Thank you guys so much again for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a double thumbs up. And until next time, Laker Hand is out. Bye guys.